What's going on, guys? Austin here. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the extra points, week eight, five minute fantasy, booming and busting tight ends. So last week, I went a uh, perfect uh, undefeated record for tight ends. Let's see if we can't continue that this week. Irv Smith versus Arizona. I like the matchups here. Arizona doesn't know how to cover tight ends, um, but they do have a decent pass defense uh, for wide receivers. So you know, this might be a game where Irv Smith, who's gotten a lot of quality looks from Kirk Cousins this year, he just hasn't converted them. Uh, you know, this year he's going to have a chance to get a few more of those. Hunter Henry versus the Jets. Now, the Jets aren't great at covering tight ends, and Hunter Henry looks to be a bigger part of the offense. Um, you know, couple that with the fact that Jacoby Myers is not going to be available because Sauce Gardner is going to be on him. I like the Hunter Henry in the passing game this week. Will Disley versus the Giants. Now, the Giants have a decent pass defense. They've got a you know pretty decent run defense. What they don't do entirely well is cover tight ends. And now between Noah Fant and Will Disley, I think that Will Disley uh, you know, fits the system better. He fits uh, Geno Smith a little better. Uh, so hopefully, you know, he gets those targets and converts them. Uh, sometimes, you know, it goes back and forth. But, you know, to start the season – the tight ends were, you know, eating up all the passing targets in this in this offense. And then I like Tyler Conklin versus New England back and forth. I think that for the same reasons that I had, you know, to start to start Hunter Henry, I'm going to say to start Tyler Conklin. New England's a good overall defense, but what they don't do incredibly well is cover tight ends. And I think what Bill Belichick likes to do most he's been doing is take away your best option. Uh, which, you know, for the Jets so far has been running the football, but they can't really run the football right now, you know, with uh, Brees Hall. So it's going to be Michael Carter and James Robinson, you know, coming in from Jacksonville. Uh, but then it's going to turn into the passing game. They've got three good wide receivers. Um, and so Tyler Conklin, I think he's just going to be a man on an island that's going to get the opportunities. Mark Andrews, I'm going to say sit him because he's coming off of uh, not an injured week, but a week where, you know, he was rehabbing an injury. He was out there for a lot of snaps, wasn't part of the game plan. And, you know, you couple that with a short turnaround, a trip on the road across country to Tampa Bay. It's just a it's just a matchup for uh, low scoring offense right there. Dallas Goddard versus Pitt. Um, you know, Pittsburgh, they've got they've got some decent edge rushers that I think are going to you know require Dallas, D Dallas to be in, you know, the, the backfield more going to be on the line more. George Kittle at L.A. Now, at the, the Rams, they really have done a good well covering tight ends. You know, the, the addition of Bobby Wagner, that's going to do it. Um, and I think that this is going to be more of a Christian McCaffrey game and a Debo Samuel game than it will be a George Kittle. Game. And then Tyler Higby versus San Fran. I don't like this matchup either because San Fran, they've got good safeties. They've got, you know, great linebackers. They've got good edge rushers and overall – uh, you know, Tyler Higby is just not going to be a part of the game plan. It's going to be more of a Cooper Cup type of day. It always is, but it's going to be a Cooper Cup type of day. So thanks for watching that video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay up to date on all of our future content.